Ah. The organized chaos that is planting season. Such a magical time of year. Just go like hell. Non-stop. Every day. Beautiful. Well, after a long morning of leaking hydraulic hoses and a whole bunch of other unexpected surprises, planter number two is rolling. Well, there is a corn planter going out there. I just got done with the white and the disc. Now I gotta go seed down those strips. And the only other tractor to run this drill is the Magnum here, but that AC does not work. No cab is a lot better than a glass box out in the sun, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, so just below the tractor there is planted corn. going to seed this down and then about right there and down. we got to seed down. And then these strips will come right on through here, go all the way back to the woods. Well, let's get her. Probably not alone on this but hear me out it is 2022 and I feel like we should be able to kind of predict the weather I checked it at like 3 today and we were supposed to be clear till Tuesday that looks like rain and all of a sudden my weather app updated and now we're at like a 70% chance Really? You're telling me that's the best you can do? Shame. Go. Be free. Go out to pasture. Go. Follow your dreams. Come on. Get up. And the end of another day. Another sunset. Looks like the cows are actually going to go explore the whole pasture tonight, so fingers crossed they don't explore too hard and find a hole in the fence, but only their second time out this year, so they're still kind of hanging tight. Well, that's some dark looking sky. And there's decent chance of scattered showers today. But we're going to go get in planter number two. And we're going to plant some corn today. Coming? Yeah. Let's go plant some corn. You know, about 400 bucks worth of corn seed doesn't look like much anymore. Remember how I always say that rye is tough? This field here was disc, and the turbo till ran over it to completely bury the rye. And you can see the rows of oats, but all the other green stuff, that's the rye coming back. And the one down the hill is even worse. 
That stuff just does not want to be killed. And we are planting. Tooling right along. Now just fingers crossed and hope you don't rain. You know, I'd love to see some of these professional corn growers try to plant corn on these hillsides, especially in worked up dirt. Because basically that little plowed up line there is supposed to run right down the center of the tractor. But when you're on a hillside, you gotta basically ride that to this lower front tire and hope your corn planter is still at the center of it. It's a whole new part of the ball game. Well, that's the first trip down. This is my first year planting corn with Colton here, so. We're basically kind of sitting on each other's laps at some times, but I'm pretty sure this is the steep, steepest strip we got today, so shouldn't be too bad. On to the next one. Well, we're starting to get a few sprinkles on the windshield. Hopefully it doesn't get too much worse. It ain't getting any darker out, really, so fingers crossed. This is that other field of rye. Where you can see it didn't want to get killed down too bad. It's it's pretty green. And I mean, there's the oats are coming. They're probably I don't know four inches or so where you can see them in there. But oh well, it'll all eat. Well, we are starting to get wet, so just about to finish up this field, and we'll probably pack her up and take her home unless it quits all of a sudden but it seems like it's just kind of getting started so let's hurry up and get done here yeah all I had left was just this little dab here and my nose is bleeding your nose ain't bleeding yeah but all we had left was this little dab but if I know I try to do it quick it's gonna start pouring plus I gotta run over to the other farm and uh Put a fertilizer tender in the shed before it really starts so just got this piece left to do and then all this down here is all done because yeah i don't think there's anything going into beans down here and just hanging corn and she's all planted minus that well we're hustling and bustling back home and I just remembered that I left the white out on the green drill, so that's going to have a nice wet seat. Ah. Well, as you can tell by the hood, the rain picked up. It's no longer speckled wet. It is a nice sheen of water on it. And, of course, there is the white. And that nice cloth seat. Must not be raining too bad though, all the cows are still out on the pasture. Oh, that's one in the shed. Now to go get the other one. Yeah. The one that's gray? Yep. That has the green trailer? Yep. I don't think you ever rode on that one before, have you? Um, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. Oh man, that's going to be a wet, wet butt moment. And yep, that was about as wet as I thought it'd be. Yeah. About that wet, as a matter of fact. Well, I can't jump down. Ugh. Up here. Do you have a fun ride? But I can't jump down. Well, why don't you go down on the other step? That one's too far down. Oh man, I guess you're stuck there. Bye. Well, about no sooner than we got home, put all the stuff that needed to go in the shed in case it rained in the shed, and we walked back to the house and grabbed something to eat. All of a sudden it quit raining, so we're going to go finish up that one strip, and then we'll be done with that. Well, we are powering through the rain, and uh, I'm hoping we'll end up just enough seed I got an extra bag with just in case but even if what we got is not enough I'm guessing we'll only need like an ice cream pail 
because there's about a bag in there. Oh, I'm gonna get an ice cream. And I started out with about three bags in there and one strip, two strip. This one's kind of deceiving. It's not real wide, but it's pretty long. So we'll see. Till then, we're rolling. Well, wouldn't you know it, we tried pushing our luck and the rain started up again, but we're here, we're gonna finish out no matter what. I mean, I don't know, four-ish more passes and we'll be done, so. Hammer through it. Well, last pass, we haven't run out of seed yet. Judging by how much I can see in that seed wheel there, I think we should make it. Now that I say that, we're probably going to run out, but oh well. Glad I just kept going from the top down or otherwise it would have made for some weird stuff in this inside. This is how I wanted to end it, that way even if there's a couple rows in the grass, it should all be cookie cutter down the hill until you get down to here. And whatever, that's corn planting. Well, we're all wrapped up. I don't know if you can see it good on camera, but there's just a little pocket of seed. I imagine the whole hopper's empty. The rain is kinda still spitting, but nothing too serious. Need to uh, switch seed. We're going back to silage corn on this planter when I get back, so. I suppose we'll put seed in it and see what it looks like then. The rest of the day is forecasted at like 60% chance of rain. And overnight is even worse. So I really don't want to get started planting because either A, you do some and then when you come back you can't see your ridge marker anymore which ain't the end of the world as long as you can still see oh wow that was muddy that was a lot muddier than I thought but anyway either you can't see where you've been or if you get a real bad rain delay then the rest of your corn's actually coming up so when you go to do your turns and that you're actually running corn over which not not ideal but Skies are looking pretty intimidating, so we're gonna head back for the ranch. I don't know if I should keep going or not. It's kind of muddy. Buddy, you need to watch out. These are fiberglass. They'll give you slivers. Don't touch. Don't touch. If I do, I gotta see if there's enough corn to. Eh. Left. I'll probably just dump the silage corn right on top and carry on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's collecting mud and it ain't gonna get any drier. Call somebody, let them tell me what to do. Well, we are gonna go try to plant some silage corn and hopefully not make too much of a muddy mess. is that well surprisingly enough 
it is a lot drier over here than it was just on the other side of that hill. I mean, you can walk through the grass here and your shoes aren't hardly wet, but I tried to do that over there and it soaked. So, these little scattered showers can drench one side of the hill and not even touch the other side. So, we're back to going. Signal that number five ain't reading. Well, I jumped back in the tractor, lifted it up, shut it off. I don't feel nothing at the end of the tube. And two kernels fell out, so. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that sensor's bad. It was acting up yesterday. Don't play with that, that's lucky. It was acting up yesterday and we cleaned it and it started working again. Yep, bury it back up. Yeah. Pat it down good. Blow it a kiss. Good job. That one's going to grow extra good. So, anyway, that sensor's just gone bad. We'll have to replace it. Back in we go. Come on, we ain't digging more corn. Let's go. Well, it's right about 3.30. Milk and time around the corner, but I'm going to try to jump over there and finish this top strip. And then I'll be all wrapped up here with the silage corn. There is a strip, lowest one on the hill there that looks like it's already been planted, but I don't know who would have planted it or when it got planted, so whatever. We're gonna try to hammer this one out quick before milking. Well, we have ran out of seed. I'm gonna pack her up, let her throw them about milk in time and I'll let somebody know if they want to come over there and finish this. Have at her. I put a stick in the ground to mark where I ran out. I mean they should be able to see that right? It's the only green thing. It's right where this little finger comes up next to the green tree. How much better could it get? I should carry around little landscaping flags for this. And of course my phone goes fuzzy, but there's a little calf there on the way home. How about that? How is it you managed to stay awake all day and just talk non-stop, but as soon as we are on the way home, you pass out? Where's mommy? She's at home. Ready to go? No. No. I'm going in the house to get something to eat. Then where are you going? I'm going to go milk cows. I want to milk cows. I guess you can come milk cows. I don't know why the planter was telling me it was empty. I mean, there's like six seeds left there. Like six over there. Come on, man. You weren't out. So for some reason, this tractor that we just used to plant today decided it doesn't want to start now so that's fun because when a key doesn't start a tractor a wrench will ninety percent of the time it works every time and the way she goes he's gonna go finish up that field that I ran out of seed on and then all we got left two long strips out back here and then that'll be it for silage corn 
and then I think we're like 80% done. Except we still got beans to do yet. There's like 70 or 90 acres of beans yet.